Hi, I'm Karel Beckman, Editor-in-Chief of European Energy Review. And I'm here in Brussels for the Energy Transparency Award 2012, which will be given for the third time by the Florence School of Regulation to a company or institution that has done the most for transparency in the European energy sector. The selection committee decided to assign the 2012 European Transparency Award to the European Energy Exchange Transparency Platform. And I'd like to congratulate you and to ask you to come here to receive the award. So as you are seeing, George totally lacks any imagination. The prize is this. That's the certificate signed by the <laughs> also by the chairman, but, but by me. So that's a prize. You can value, estimate. Daniel, congratulations with your award. Can you tell us a little bit more about the EEX Transparency Platform? Yes, thank you very much. Um, to put it brief, um, the Transparency Platform is there to communicate or to publish data for the power sector. So what you can see on our transparency platform are data concerning the production of electricity. So you can see that the forecast as well as the actual production and it is kind of differentiated between the different energy sources. You can see whether the energy comes from renewables, whether it comes from conventional power plants and so on. So this is a transparency platform and it offers or it improves the level playing field for energy trading. That was the main purpose in the first instance, but nowadays the platform has really developed and for politicians and other interested stakeholders, this platform serves as a tool in order to see how much renewables and other sources are currently developed. Okay, that's, that's very interesting. How, how unique is this platform? I think there are several platforms like that in Europe. But we are in so far unique as we cover Germany, Austria and the Czech Republic. And it is unique because it is a really industry success story, meaning that we have on board not only the German and Austrian transmission system operators, but also more than 50 reporting companies. So this has been really a success for the whole industry which came up with that idea. And EX, as a neutral platform, provides the possibility to publish these data. And, um you said uh, just now that, that uh, your website draws 70,000 visitors a month, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. It is a number which has been growing over the last couple of years and this shows the great, um, great interest in the whole issue. And uh, we always say that energy prices are going to the heart, meaning it's not only the price you pay for the bread, but also the price you pay for electricity, which is really important for consumers. So consumers more and more get kind of active to learn more about where the energy comes from. So this is also one purpose of the platform, to show the end consumer like you um, why and how electricity is produced and to give you an indication what the future of energy uh, production will look like. Okay. That's, that's fascinating. And, and yet you, you also told me that this is only the beginning as far as you are concerned. We hope that that's only the beginning so far, it has been a great success. You heard today that there's a new regulation which is called REMIT. Uh, under this regulation the platform will be used in order to publish certain information, for instance insider information. To a large extent it already covers the obligations under REMIT, but there's still some improvement and some data which are missing. This is one part. And the second, you know that ASA, the new European regulatory body also has to look into energy markets and for that reason we will also report data to them. So we will not only publish them but also report data to ASA. And, and uh, is there a difference here between electricity and gas? Or did, does this just reply, uh, apply to the electricity market? Because uh, as EEX you're also active in gas, isn't that uh, correct? Yes. 
There is a difference. So far we only cover the electricity sector, but of course gas power plants, for instance, also publish their information on production on our site, but we have no specific information on gas. So there, there is really a gap. And currently we are figuring out together with the market whether there is a chance that the transparency platform also covers gas. Were you surprised uh, that you uh, received this award? Yes and no. Yes and no. It has been the third time that we have been nominated and you say lucky three. And um, so there was some hope that this time uh, we will be, we'll have an honor uh, to get this prize. So I think it's a great event today and it has really developed over the last years. So we are proud to be here and uh, to be one of the winners, finally. Maybe as a, as a last uh, question, um, when you look at the, uh, the development of the internal energy market in Europe, uh, particularly the, maybe the electricity market, where do we stand at this moment? Oh, that's a difficult question, but I would say we are currently in a status where markets are already to a high extent integrated. So you have high interdependencies between the different countries. So for instance, one decision in Germany to invest in renewables has direct influence on our neighboring countries. So we have that internal market already to a large extent and that means we can't decide on a national basis only, but we also have to ask the European Union and our neighboring countries. So this is why we need this transparency platform which really helps to kind of give you an overview of the fundamental situation in the whole of Europe, hopefully in the future. Okay, well, uh, good luck with your efforts. Thank you very much.